Question. Does our state do enough to prevent distracted driving? I would say no. It does not do enough to protect against distracted driving. And here's why. And it's simply because it has so many options for policies to um, enforce. Because these laws aren't about like, oh, this is um, this is more convenient, or we could pass this more easily. No, these policies are about saving lives. And if you can't save lives uh, as easily as just researching something and then, you know, just bringing it up in court, if that isn't a thing, then the system should be fixed. Because I do not think it's a moral thing to force people to spend over $200,000 to uh, go through some crazy legal battle that lasts like, so many years. And by the time that he actually finishes it, like 50, 60, 70, 80, maybe like, like a thousand people have died by the time that he's uh, finished it. Actually, no, 3,000 since um, in a uh, year, I think it was like 2012. It was sort of in like 2012, in Florida, there were like 2,900 car crashes, like car crash fatalities. So if this guy doesn't doesn't win this court case within that much time, um, then the state has killed 2,900 people. And the options to uh, do this are, um, they're, they're not limited at all. They're many, many things. Like, for instance, sticking a camera inside of someone's car to force them to uh, not text and drive. Maybe have a loud beep that happens when they whip out a phone. Use it, right? Maybe force everyone to use a breathalyzer test. Or, not or, I mean, and, you can make it so um, cars do not start when you have your seatbelt in. Maybe make it illegal for all manufacturers to not uh, have that uh, device in place that um, measures distances between cars and you know prevents crashes. You've seen those commercials, right? It force all manufacturers to do it, get into their finances, and make them sell them for cheap. I don't, because I, I, I don't really, I don't care about what profits they make. It's, it's cars. Okay, you're supposed to sell them for cheap so everyone can have them. It's, it's, it's mass manufacturing. You're not supposed to scam the crap out of everyone just so you can get your grubby hands on some money. That's, that's something else that I, I'm against. And the thing is, forcing cameras to be in people's cars, it, it's not illegal. It isn't because once you're outside of your property, once you're outside of your garage, uh, that's public property. You, you physically cannot be nude in your car. You can't do something dumb like go to the bathroom in your car. Like, oh, I got a toilet in my back seat. Ooh, yeah. You cannot do any of those things. This is this is public. And sure, the car is the proper your property, but we have regulations on everything. All right. You know, I don't think you're you're not even supposed to use like specific kinds of paint. Is your property right? You can't use specific kinds of paint on your house. So why? What's the difference between that and forcing people to buy like a twenty, thirty dollar camera? None. There is no difference. It's surveillance, right, in a public area. And even if it does uh, intrude on people's privacy, it's still saving lives. So your your feelings end where someone's life begins. Alright, that is a fact.